hello everybody welcome back and now we are going to create player damage system in last video we have right write our script till here and uh, in this video we'll move further so now in start function uh, we need these two things and now we will create our main function which is uh, deal damage function so here we will create a public function and why we are using public because we want to implement it in other uh, scripts as well so I'm just creating deal damage and here uh, we will see if can damage then what will happen so we will say life score count life count minus minus okay what it means that we are minusing uh, we are uh, deleting one life from life count so here we will say if life score count is greater than or equal to zero okay then what will happen so we will say life count dot text sorry life text life text dot text is equal to multiply by sign uh, we are adding the multiply sign here and then we will add life uh, count okay like this so now we will see if life count is equal to zero then what will happen so we will say game over okay and here we will say time dot time scale because we need to stop our time okay so here we will say 0 f also we will add game over ui dot set active true game over sound dot play so we are playing the sound of game over so now that's very nice and we will create a actually yeah here we will also uh, add one more thing can damage f is equal to false okay like this so now uh, we will move further and after these two lines we will create another function which will be uh, i enumerator function for coroutine and we will name it wait for damage okay and here we will say yield return uh, wait new wait for seconds where is the wait for seconds and we will wait for 2f okay and here we will say can damage is equal to true okay now we will add a function for our uh, uh, buttons so here we will see if I quit game function so here we can say application dot quit okay uh, also we can uh, add a function here for retry so we will say public wide retry function and actually we want to move uh, towards main menu on retry function okay so here we will say scene manager dot load scene and we want to load scene main menu we didn't have created main menu yet so we will create it in a while 
and we will not create any function for main menu because uh, we don't need it so now uh, people select uh, our let's uh, move here sorry and if we go to uh, game over panel we don't need this main menu button okay so let's delete it for time and uh, we'll just move retry a little bit down and quit a little bit upward okay so that's nice now we can hide this game over panel save it and now if we uh, select our player we have to add this uh, player damage script so we will select uh, open the prefab and here we will add player damage script so now in player damage you can see we have a game over ui and game over audio so we will uh, drag drop these objects here and uh, you can see unfortunately when we are uh, we open the prefab we can't add these uh, things here so we will just move back and here we can now add game over panel here game over ui and also we can add game over audio so for audios we will create a object here and I will rename it to audios okay and inside this we will create a audio source and we will name it game over sound and play on awake should be disabled and here we will add audio clip and in audios I think we have game over sound yeah so yeah that's nice we will select game over uh, object and we will add game over sound effect here and now we will select our player guy and here we will add game over sound like this okay so let's see if we play the game hopefully the lives will be uh, three here and you can see nothing happens because we didn't have added the game over panel is added game over ui is added and where is the text actually we didn't have added the text why this is public audio source this is public game object and these are the text and these are actually the private that's why we can't see these we can make it serialized field okay so now these will be visible so um, now if we move to our uh, scene unity we can have that text as well so uh, now we have text so we will add this life icon and this is the life count text actually yeah ac sorry for that we don't need it to be serialized we don't need it actually we didn't have renamed the uh, text okay so the name of the text should be live text actually so let's copy this and we will move to our unity and for the text which we want to uh, update we will rename it to live text now we will make save it and let's see now hopefully the lives will be three yeah you can see lives are three and we can also add a space between x so here we can just give it a space okay uh, so now uh, we will just move here and uh, these live text is little bit uh, smaller so we will select it and we will make it uh, 48 maybe okay so now if we play hopefully lives will be updated to three so now we our player has three lives initially and if he uh, become damaged the life should be deleted okay so now we will see that how we will do that so if we go to uh, player beetle enemy 
uh, we can make a damage from uh, colliding from uh, left side or right side so what we can do uh, we can just uh, go to script and where we are damaging the player here so we will just remove this uh, we don't need it now and we will add damage function here okay so for damaging uh, actually what we can do yeah for damage we will uh, just uh, I will just think before that sorry we will simply say here uh, that uh, if a left hit uh, actually this is right and here we will add a left click hit dot collider dot uh, game object dot uh, get component and we are getting the component player damage okay and then we will say that if that uh, from this component we will deal the damage function okay so we already have added the damage function so we will just copy this and we will paste it here and for a right hit okay right hit so now uh, this is fine and let's see whether our player is damaging or not so uh, if we move to our game if we play the game if we move further to the this side you can see our life is minus now okay so that's nice we are damaging our player so from this side unfortunately i don't know why this game object is not working although this side is damaging the player okay so if we collide with this side actually uh, yeah, some problem is there because yeah, one time he is damaged and the other time he is not damaging so I think uh, yeah because we are making can damage false I think somewhere so if we go here you can see can damage true and deal damage can damage false here okay yeah so after this we have to run some coroutine wait for damage so can damage should be true yeah so I think we we should run this coroutine can damage uh, wait for second coroutine uh, as well in start function and we will not in start function actually uh, in update function wait for damage sorry we this is not way of uh, setting up routine we will add uh, like start coroutine and then we will add our coroutine which is this one wait for damage okay so okay so the problem is that uh, we are adding the start coroutine uh, here and we have to add the start coroutine after can damage falls so uh, after some seconds he will again uh, damage the player okay so he can again damage the player so now if we go to unity you will see that if we are damaging from right and left both sides hopefully so let's see so if we move to yeah you can see we are damaging and if we strike with this side you can see we are damaging again and when our lives become zero then hopefully we uh, the game will be over so yeah actually yeah it should be 
here i don't know why uh, okay let's try this side yeah and now we are not damaging why this is the issue yeah we damaged but after some time okay so due to certain reason uh, this happens i will just refresh the layout and for refreshing the layout what we can do we can go to layout let's revert factory sometime uh, it solve the uh, simple issues so let's see uh, if we strike we yeah, are life is deleted and the other time i don't know why and yeah and now in this side and now it's working okay so for certain reason we face we are facing some issue but uh, it will be solved i think uh, when we move further so also in the canvas uh, game over panel if we select game over panel uh, you can see game over text is not in the right position so we will select a title and we will make it here okay for certain reason so now we will again uh, make it hidden but before that we will select retry a button and we will click on click function and we are going to add that uh, actually where we have added that script yeah we have added that on player guy actually so if we go to player damage we can select retry function and uh, if we select the quit button we can uh, again click uh, we can select our player guy here and we can go to player damage and quit game function okay so uh, now uh, we don't have main menu scene so uh, we will just add that scene so we will go to scenes and here we will create a scene uh, and we will name it main menu okay and then we will add these scenes in build settings so we will have main menu and scene one okay sample scene we don't need so we can delete it even if we don't need and now if we play the game you will see then that when we will die uh, we will move to we can move to our that section yeah, now you can see it's working absolutely fine now if we retry you can see we move to main menu so that's it we have successfully added the player death and damage system in this video next video will move further